Welcome to Coyotes North. So today what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of insulation on the cold air box. So the other day I noticed when I drove it, and I drove it a short amount of time, I have the Dynatech 1 and 7 8 inch headers on the car. I probably drove it six minutes, and uh, I was actually taking it to the shop to get the Borla over the XO exhaust on and the pipe muffler delete. And I noticed um, a lot of heat. Um, I had put the hood up, you know, when I got to the garage, and um, I noticed an extreme amount of heat coming from that first header pipe and that whole box, as you can see here, and the outer part of this box, it was very warm. Look down there, you can see that header, Klaus, um, all those headers generate heat, so. What I'm going to do is I just picked up some heat shield. I'm going to insulate the bottom of that uh, panel. Put some around the side just to help keep that air cold. Anytime you can keep your intake air cooler, it all, it all adds horsepower. So anyway, we'll get this heat shield on. We're going to do some trimming, get it stuck on. We're going to clean the box with some alcohol. We're back and um, we got everything tied up here with that insulation on this cold air piece um, or cold air box. I kind of show you the finished product. So we had to kind of piecemeal it together. Um, however, um, you're not gonna see it. It's sitting on the downside, but um, I did the best I could do. This is the bottom side of the uh, cold air intake. And then this is, is gonna be the back side. So as you can see, We've kind of pretty much covered the basis and uh, we'll get it put on. So we successfully got this uh, air box insulated. Actually, it didn't turn out all bad, a little bit better. Like I said, we piecemealed it as you saw the pictures earlier, but this is a uh, kind of a final product. I do got a little cleaning to do, but as you can see from this angle, you really can't see anything where we've put the insulation on the bottom of the air box in the back side so here's a view of it on this side so that's reflective that doesn't look that bad but we had to use some 3m uh super adhesive um just to help on that complete today let you just get a look at temperature on the intake air temperature on the radiator and this is of course after the boss our grill change the insulation around the cold air intake first we'll uh, do the temperature which has been pretty interesting um, since I've insulated and added the boss as I believe it is grill um, and I believe I'm actually getting more airflow to my cold air intake so the exterior temp is 85 degrees and the cold air intake is 84. Now I've seen it as much as three degrees cooler on the cold air intake than the exterior temp, which, which is unusual. Typically it's three degrees higher. Never, I've never seen it uh, lower. And it's been consistently lower since I've made those changes. As far as the boss are cooling and the um, radiator temperature, so exterior temp is 85. We're running at 185 degrees down the highway with a 170 degree thermostat. Check out the exterior temp. And then we're gonna go over to the intake air and the uh, coolant temp. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, take care.